Hello guys. We are we are we are live. Or not. Started okay, we started the stream, but yeah. we okay, we're not showing anything right now. I don't know. If, I don't even know if you guys have audio, but let's share screen one. And Okay, that's showing now. Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's very laggy. Because the one one thing I don't like uh, about the Zoom stuff. Mm -hmm. Um and let's there's no camera. Sorry. There you go. There you go. I'll put it here. All right. Okay, guys. So welcome to another another night of open house at the Summer Bash Observatory. I'm here with Marcel. Hello. And well, actually, we're we're a little bit early, so we are just going to calibrate the camera for a while, and then we're gonna kind of restart. Um, I mean, we're gonna reintroduce ourselves in ten yep. minutes. Anyone that's there, just mm. say hi to mm. what the magic happened. Let's, let's remember how in, insignificant our issues are <laughs> in the universal scale. Yep, that gives you perspective for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's not in, oh, well, mm -hmm. it's not insignificant is the fact that there's a lot of clouds. <laughs> Well, you know, the thing is, I, I, we already did Mars last time. Uranus is not interesting. What the heck are these things? What does it mean? Yeah, I don't know what those red yeah. are. Uranus is not that interesting. Um, mm, that's going to be interesting. Let me, let me rub me now. We can watch Deep Space Object. So Andromeda, it's out. We can watch Andromeda. Actually, there there are very good pictures of Andromeda we can take. Yes. Uh, of course, a big issue right now you can see it is that there's no there's there's no there there, there are a lot of clouds. Hang on. I think that makes a little bit more sense. And just as a quick reminder to people, clouds are not very helpful for astronomical observations. <laughs> Turbulence of the atmosphere is, is horrible. Yeah, so there are a lot of clouds right now. We expect that it may, it may get a little bit clearer in half an hour. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to try to calibrate the camera. What big stars are on there? I don't think, honestly, we can calibrate the camera right now. So. Mm -hmm. We can show a picture of the clouds. <laughs> Capella outside? I mean, you can draw me yourself. Um, this is how the clouds yes, look. Okay. Oh, it is looking at the sky. Yeah, very okay, nice. Let me see. Hmm. Where do you wanna where do you wanna see Capella? Oh here is. Yeah. It will be out soon. Okay. Because your Pia is out as well. There's there's a few things in it, that's cool. Yeah, I guess I you can watch some stars. But right now, my hope was Jupiter that it's so bright that sometimes you can see it through the clouds. Uh, but, but as it turns out, Jupiter is already out, uh, 
already, how do you say? Horizon. Already set. Yeah. yeah. The Saturn already set as well. It's not right. Yes, Saturn also set. According to this thing, anyways. I'm going to try to go in there, anyways. Let's go. All right. Has the camera always been? I think. I think. I don't know why I think the camera has always been over here, but it's. It has been normally over there, right? Yeah, it has been. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Okay. Um, it's supposedly looking more. We're looking at, at Saturn right now. Let's wait for minutes. Mm -hmm. Although I am curious. Take a picture see if, yeah, if I can actually see anything. Nope. I mean, we may be looking like at nothing. <laughs> at the flat yeah. irons, anyways. Yeah. So things said very early here because. Um, there is the flat irons, which are is a range of mountains that are exactly to the west. So the horizon is it's basically pretty pretty high up in the sky. Uh, orange line that you can see, which is the orange line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super cloudy. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. Um, we are going to wait to see if things clear up a little bit. Uh, but to be honest, I don't know how to make things. What do you mean? If I, if I go live. But I think we're already live. We are already live. Okay. What is it that you want to? To go offline, but um, but not to but not to stop the transmission completely. We we have four viewers, guys. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking. There's really not much we can do about the about the clouds right now. What are you thinking? Um, because I I. No, I don't know if like you can actually like pause it. Does that? If no, we already we already left. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I mean. Because yeah, the I, end I, stream is not a good idea. Okay, not yeah. a video. Add stream marker. Share. No. Yeah, because I I think like the only thing you can actually do is like just end the stream. All right, so let's just. Oh, let's see here, wait. Oh, they weren't gone, see? They're still there. Yeah. All three of them. <laughs> they can sit with us and contemplate life. So actually, I can show you the clouds from a side of you. Yeah, maybe we can like spend the three minutes talking about clouds, <laughs> clouds, and what we saw in the weather map. <laughs> um, that cloud coverage. This cloud coverage is not the best. Uh, I think you. Aqua weather. It was something like polar. So what we want is a good weather, and that actually gives you the weather. So hey, hello, uh, everyone, everybody that's just tuning in. We, we started a little bit 
earlier because we wanted to see if we could uh, see something through the clouds. So as you can see here, there are a good amount of clouds uh, over Colorado. And this is Denver, and this is where we are in Boulder. Uh, and all the green thing here is clouds. Yep. So we we're trying to see if there was anything we could see through the clouds there with the camera, but the answer is no. Um, now, this is going to change. Um, so let's see. You see how things are moving in? So maybe in about, I don't know, half a minute. No, this is like. Wait, it's jumping like every 10 minutes, but I think it stops like 7 will be, so. Yeah, I know. It will be like in an hour where you this, this patches of clear sky are going to reach us mm -hmm. over here. We might have to like try to like find something through the clouds. Yeah. I mean, even if you can't see it with a naked eye, you might be able to spot something. I mean, over here, it's looking way better. What do you, what do you mean? Like there's this small patch now. Like, let's see. No. <laughs> the plane is. I don't know. It okay. might just be my eyes tricking me. I'm getting used to the darkness, so. Look, look. Where is. Where is Boulder? Boulder, uh, north. Denver is here. Yes. Okay. So. This is going to reach us probably <laughs> an hour. Because an hour ago. Where was it? It was over. Oh no, it's less than an hour. Oh no. Yeah, actually, this is less than an hour. So maybe in half an hour, things are going to clear up a little bit, and then we are going to uh, we're going to show you something. But in the meantime, what we can do is uh, use the internet. So, uh, what do you want to talk about? Um, well, I mean, we should we should try to speak about some of the things that we might look about tonight. So we we were talking about Andromeda for some time. Andromeda, yeah. So we're gonna uh, if, if if things clear up, we're gonna take a picture of Andromeda. Now Andromeda um, is the galaxy that is closest to us. He has a companion, doesn't he? That, that sounds like a, something like the large Magellanic cloud thing. Oh, I see. It, 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 it is interesting. Like, what the heck is this? I know. <laughs> Who are you? So now we're trying to figure out in this picture which. How did this dude took that picture? Look at these two. These two for astronauts. Camera. Oh, we are this with a telescope, but this camera has to have a very big field of view. <laughs> oh, it has a little thing and it has a little square on there. What is that? MGC 205. M110? Yeah. OK, we're going to see 110 this year. Stick with us and figure out. Okay, so M110 is a drop elliptical galaxy that is a satellite of Andromeda. Oh, yeah, now we know. So this is super interesting. So satellite galaxies are galaxies that go around other galaxies. And what we were looking at in the Andromeda picture, this, this is, a, sorry, sorry, we're a mess here. Andromeda galaxy. So that's crazy. It's it's similar to how the moon orbits the Earth, or mm -hmm. even galaxies, which are like disks, behave this way. That's crazy. And look, it's it's in all of these pictures. So the 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 interesting thing is to is it is an elliptical galaxy. Elliptical galaxies are galaxies that look exactly like this. They're not. They're gonna ellipsoids. They are not. Um, 
they have more vertical extent than the normal galaxies and the normal is smaller mm. and they tend to be actually older the stars in the galaxies tend to be older um, And it is interesting, like I'm, I'm, I do dynamics, right? So what I'm thinking of looking at this picture uh, is that if this is the orbit of this satellite galaxy is a little bit like vertical. So we have, we don't have a satellite galaxy, but you know, the, there's a lot of material like outside of the plane. Right. Um, and that material creates a, a wrapping on on the galaxy. So basically the galaxy bends a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. And that, that physics is something that I am very interested in. And this is a, a very easy to study case. Like if it, there's any effect uh, of M110 on, on Andromeda, it, it will be easy to track it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the, the, the motions on the galaxies are very slow, but yeah, but uh, so you, we do have proper motions of very nearby galaxies, right? Yeah, that's with like Gaia instruments, or... yeah, yeah. So maybe we could we could see what's going on uh, with this interaction. Mm. So you mentioned that um, this M110 is an elliptical galaxy, mm -hmm. which brings me to the point that, well, Andromeda is a spiral galaxy. So, yeah. Look, the dwarf elliptical galaxies are quite common. An elliptical galaxy, so this is what I'm talking about. It was like ellipsoidal, so it wasn't entirely flat. And, and, they're, and they are very boring. Um, but they are, aren't, uh, but this, this is not boring. This is very interesting. Elliptical. The, this, yeah. The, the elliptical you mentioned or the, the spiral? I'm sorry, the spiral. Yeah, I was going to say, like, of course it's interesting. There's star formation going on there. What else do you want? Uh, wait. Uh, there you go. Well, not only the star formation, but also I, I, I know, I know. everything. Yeah, there's a lot. We of know, we know. We're, we're, <laughs> we're actually taking a um, spiral arms uh, seminar this this semester, so we, we've been learning a lot about uh, Andromeda. Well, not Andromeda, but just spiral galaxies in general. In general, yeah. And what what have we learned? Well, I mean. It, Yesterday was great. Um, we had like kind of a review, I think, of like some of the things that we've been seeing over the whole semester. Mm -hmm. And one of the very interesting things um, I think that was mentioned is, oh, at least for me, one of the very interesting things is just like this idea that, you know, our spiral galaxies behave like these density waves. Right. Mm. And again, like I, I am going for star formation because I like stars. Um, so just like the idea that like the orbits of the of the stellar objects in this thing, not just like not, not the gas, but the stellar objects is kind of like what defines this the spiral arms that we can actually see in observations for me is like very impressive. But also we we got to see like a lot of other interesting things that are happening like uh, in between those spiral arms. So like the formation, like older stars just like drifting away. And we, we kind of saw that for like a lot of different like spiral arms and how that distribution looks, which for me, again, that's very interesting. But Danielle, like you are into the dynamics yeah. of this thing really. So uh, you can just like. So look, if, if, we, if we get to uh, actually take a picture. Oh, sorry about that. All right. So if, if we if we get to take a picture, we're going to be able to uh, actually see these filaments. So mm -hmm. these filaments are actually gas that is absorbing the light of the stars, right? That's why it's darker. Mm -hmm. But they but it follows the pattern uh, of high density in um, so increases of density in the galaxy. Now, what happens is that the uh, uh, a disk with uniform density, which means that it has 
uniformly distributed stars and gas all over the disk, uh, it's an unstable situation. And uh, if the disk is rotating, uh, it will actually evolve towards something that is not uniformly distributed, um, but via this thing that we call instabilities. And one of the instabilities uh, of the of the disks, uh, rotating disk, is the creation of of um, density wave, yeah. right? Uh, uh, a, a very crude way of thinking about it is that the center of the galaxy has more mass. Um, and that creates uh, a gravitational perturbation in the outer parts of the galaxy that um, causes the material to go in and then go out mm -hmm. like a sound wave. Uh, and this propagate this perturbation propagates outwards into the, the other parts of the galaxy. Um, so yeah, that thing to rotate. Yeah, so you got um, And it's 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 interesting because um, there's there's different types of galaxies, uh, and there's different types of, of spiral. So sometimes uh, galaxies have four arms, which this looks like a four-arm galaxy. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, and sometimes they only have two arms, and sometimes they have a, a, a bar in uh, in the center. Like the Milky Way galaxy is thought to be a bar galaxy. Right, and aren't they like the most common ones in the universe? The like bars? Two, two thirds, wasn't it? The bars? Yeah. Yeah, that? bars are very common. Uh, and bars, um, and, and then the question is, all of this structure uh, happens over time, right? Because at the beginning, we just, you just have like a molecular cloud that collapses uh, more or less into a galaxy. Actually, what you have is a, a small density perturbation from the co cosmological times, from the Big Bang, um, that starts uh, accreting mass and accreting mass and creating galaxies. And in the process from that uh, environment to having the spiral arms and having the bars, take some time, mm -hmm. but we only have 4.2 billion years. No, that's the solar system. 13 <laughs> point something, two billion years in the universe, which means that there is a, a time constraint on how uh, how fast you can, you can make these things. And not only that, but when we look at galaxies that are very far away, which is exactly what we were talking about yesterday, talking about yesterday yeah. uh, you know that because this light has a finite speed, things that you're looking at very far away are actually in the past or that light that comes to us it's took some time old. to travel so it's registering an object it's coming from an object uh, as it was billions of years ago so we, by looking at our galaxies that are very far um, we can actually uh, see at what point this structure forms and that's exactly what we we're talking about yes, yesterday sir. yeah which is, uh, you stop seeing this type of galaxies at 1.6 redshift, which is uh, kind of like, what, like uh, nah. 4 billion years from now, right. more okay. or less. Let's, let's, let's see. Redshift to year cal calculation. Let's see. Logical possible. This allows to input user selected values of the whole constant. This calculator accepts omega. This calculator redshifts the whole constant, omega, omega lambda. No. Not so much. Just give me the branch, like the. Uh, so 1.8, and then, well. Uh, they're gonna actually Spiky. make us go to like Planck. Yeah. We're gonna do this. So what's Planck? Planck is uh, it was a German physicist, but it, it was also the name of actually the archive. Let's do it. Um, 
is your name of a satellite that is orbiting Earth, and the, the satellite was built to measure the cosmological parameters. So what is what is cosmological parameters? Cosmological parameters are the amount of matter in the universe, the amount of dark matter in the universe, the amount uh, of photons, and then lambda, the acceleration of the universe is how you get lambda. Mm -hmm. So the universe expansion it can be measured, but you can also measure the acceleration of, of it and get the amount of dark, dark uh, energy, mm -hmm. sorry. Right, yeah. Uh, and then from all of that, you can also get Hubble constant. Yeah. So these parameters tell you how much things are in the universe, which constrain how the universe evolves, their, how quickly it, it expands, but it also constrains how quickly it has been expanding uh, for a while, so it, it will tell you how old the universe is. Um, and this is the actual paper that they published. And the reason I am looking at the actual paper is because um, I am a master. I couldn't find, I couldn't <laughs> find better. Where's the table? I remember there, there was a table. Uh, you've passed a few. Uh, Well, I can see the parameters that you want. Okay, let's go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too much of a masochist. Yeah. Okay, somebody just told me. Blank results one, blank collaboration. We're gonna go to the paper again. We, we we're going on a on a. Can some can somebody tell me? I know that the whole parameter is like 0.73 or whatever. Huh. Mm. Because we have statistical data sets, internal consistency with the lambda seeding parameters. Dark matter and conclusions. Cosmological parameters, appendix A. There you go. Yeah. <coughs> this is the one. Yes. Uh, Why do they get even in, in units of Planck squared? Okay, okay, here it is. Okay. Um, so lambda uh, 0.680. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry. Uh, matter 0.320. Yep. I don't know what I'm at. 320. Yep. Hubble. Hubble. Well, you need the luminosity, though. You need the luminosity of what? I don't know. That's a great question. Hubble. There you go. Oh, because it's giving you the angular size. I remember the magnitude. I remember the magnitude, so we're talking like 12. Can you like magnitude, magnitude to luminosity calculate? Yeah. <laughs> um, no what is Homo? 66. Wow. Uh, 68.17. This is the. All right. This is okay. To figure out the luminosity. Can you please work just as it. Look. Wait. It didn't calculate the uh, luminosity. So. Okay, so 3.5 billion, 3.5, uh, not billion, what the heck? 
eight plus nine. That's that's no, that is that is a billion. Well, the universe is uh, to the ten. Oh, this is thirteen. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is billion. Okay, so three point five billion years. So, uh, if we go back and see the galaxies, uh, three point five billion years, they didn't have, they didn't have the the spiral structure. So that's very interesting. It is very interesting. And something you know something that's interesting. You may be thinking, hey, but these galaxies are very far away. How can you be looking at if they have spirals or not? Well, it turns out, and there is something very interesting that that stars used to be. Uh, galaxies used to have more stars because they, they were creating a lot of stars and a lot of stars have already died in galaxies nowadays. Mm -hmm. So galaxies at that time were actually brighter enough that it, it uh, very similarly, like, it cancels out the effect of being very far away. Oh, yeah. the, 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 limit, the limitation is then not the fact that the galaxies are faint, but the fact that the galaxies are, get small. Mm -hmm. So it's all about the angular resolution of the telescope, yeah. which we're talking about Hubble here. Um, so that's pretty good. You can also galaxies are very far, are yeah. very big. I mean, yesterday they mentioned that like the resolution, or in that paper they mentioned that the resolution that they Hubble has, uh, I think it got you to easily to like six z, which is like what? It's, one it's, it's way six z. Yeah. We have a calculator six, now. Yeah. Oh, okay, six. So this is what we can see. We can see all the way uh, to um, wow, twelve. Um, wow, jeez. It's like the beginning of of things. Are you sure it's six? Maybe it was four. I, okay, in the paper they they mentioned up to four. I thought they mentioned six yesterday in the talk, but I'm sure. Like the figures that they included in the paper up to, I think four. They only saw spiral structures up to two. Up to one point five. Yeah, one point eight, one point five. Yeah. And then there was this thing that I really was itching to ask her, which is that she says that you only see bars up to point six. So you first right. get the bars. You first get, uh, the bars. Uh, no, actually, you first get the spirals. Spirals and then the bars. And then it, she's saying the bars don't. Uh, at the beginning, it doesn't seem to be related to the. Yes, yes. Actually, <laughs> it might be beneficial to people that are hearing this this conversation to actually see what we mean by bar. Oh yeah, you're right. You're yeah, because right. we we've already shown them like a spiral. Um, and again, we 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 went on this tangent because we we were seeing Andromeda in the sky. So now, looking, um, and now so we're talking about spiral. This spirals. is the bar. You see how it is flat here? Well, you can, you can see <laughs> the, the hand. They can there, see the mouse, though. There. Ah, yeah, they can actually draw. You see how it's flat? Yeah, the bar. This is the bar. Not the one that you got to drink. <laughs> many people would joke. So this is a bar galaxy. And as you can see, there is a, a relationship with the spiral arms, right? Bar galaxies tend to be too they do have two instead of four spiral arms. But what, what they seem to, to be suggesting in the paper, although they don't talk about it at all, it's just by looking at galaxies uh, uh, far away in the past, is that the spiral structure forms first, and then you have a bar, and then you have this coupling between the bars and the spiral structure. Yeah. So that's very interesting. Um, and it just makes no sense, you know, that what we were talking about, people thought that bars are supposed to be created, very, they have to be created very quickly. Right. Um, and the mechanisms that we have for bar formation in galaxies was actually kind of slow. But as it turns out, it seems that bars actually come after. No. <laughs> Okay, so this hole. So this is a very interesting picture. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Now it's better. 
number two. So, um, yeah, Andromeda is what we wanted to show today. We can show them what the telescopes these. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, as an attempt. No. No. Yeah, like, or to the west, it's it's even worse. Yeah. Oh, it's raining for sure. So, it's not like we will actually be able to see anything tonight. Yeah, the cleaning is gonna come from the west if it's not ever come. So the wire is not looking too good. I don't think we're gonna be able to to see Andromeda. Mm. So what else do you want to see today? Um, can we look at sky map? And see, like put. Like not this? Yeah, uh, that's what, exactly what I meant. Uh, sky X, sorry. Sky okay. Map. We're going to look for Andromeda and see. I think our best bet is looking. What? I, no, I'm just thinking like our best bet is like looking for the, the flyers because that's, that's where it seems less, uh, at least like. Less cloudy. It's not looking great, but this is supposed to be makes no sense. Remember, it's I confused. No, I remember it's over here. Ah, uh, here. There you go. Why is it pointing? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Okay. So we're gonna look at Andromeda and see if we can get anything, but honestly, it looks very cloudy and we're not gonna get anything. Sounds about right. <laughs> I mean, try. And the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, how much your exposure time? One second. There we go. There. If anything is coming through, we have to take a lot a long exposure. Yeah. It's very far away, I think. Um, I took a very good uh, picture of Andromeda one night, and I have never been able to replicate that picture. Geez. Like you could see the. The arms. Oh man. Um, One but, it, but it was basically uh, that picture was like. Not even this. It was just. Yeah, because the field of view. Was... Yeah, because of the field of the camera, it was this. The picture was this. So, I mean. It was pretty cool, yeah. Uh, About 30, 23 playbacks. Uh, um, wait, we're looking at the. Uh, yeah. Oh, we can almost see. No. Imagine we can see something. Why? Why is this? I think that's that's just like the on the because of the clouds. Um, I would imagine it has to do with. I imagine like this edges is just like an artificial effect, because um, it doesn't make sense that it would be that dark. Yeah. No. No. In those regions. So what we're looking at this is condensation on the mirror. Yeah. So basically drops of water that are making these patterns here. 
you don't see it if I take a very, a very like quick picture, but if I take a long exposure, you start to detail it, and then trap underneath all of that. There's Andromeda. Yep. Yeah, there's we we can't do better than this one. No? We can try a longer exposure, but it won't it won't do anything. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's close. Oh, crosshairs. Well, that's something. I guess you can move it around. No, no, not even. Wow, it's kind of weird. I mean, maybe if you want to like the center to be fixed for some reason. Okay, um, what else is sky? sky I'm extra. sorry, guys. So, I'm gonna close this. You know, I saved that Andromeda. I think I saved that Andromeda picture. So let's look. What I'm looking for an older Andromeda picture. Um, bubble dimension M and 100 Orion. We never learned all that. Much. This bubble is it's me. In Dark Demos is also nice. Is this the bubble that I thought? I think it is. So we're looking at all pictures here, and so, no scale. I see. Scale lock. Ah. I see, I see. So this is an Ebola. Uh, yeah, this, this is a nice picture of bubble. Bubbles are planted there in Ebola. Uh, yeah. 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 We could have seen this today. <laughs> we could have seen a lot of things today. <laughs> Those are clouds. Uh, it's, it's maybe 1040. Ah, uh, no. Oof, wow. Ah, uh, no. Jupiter. Mars. No. <laughs> Internet. No. Interesting. Yeah. We, we took this picture a couple of weeks. This is the one I told you. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You're, you're gonna like this. So this is a picture of. Uh, oh. Don't don't mind don't mind this. Of a moon. You see this? Oh yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. So bug. Not, not working really. Scale. That's oh the histogram. Do you want do you need that? C scale. And then I move it down here. Oh, there you go. Oh I see. But it's still too much. Uh log again. So was this log? No, it seems it seems very saturated. Yeah. I the, know. Yeah, but the thing is that uh sorry, I'm not looking there oh. you go. There he is. I'm looking where we're supposed to be looking. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the moon. And that's Mars, right? This is Mars. Uh, we had to saturate Mars. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we got, we see down here is the moon of uh, of Mars, Deimos. So this is normally the smoothest one. Oh, I see it now. Yeah. So we got the moon of, of Mars, not an easy catch. No, no, not at yeah. all. First time I, I saw it on a picture. Um, uh, wow. Jeez. Pretty cool, though. Be cool if they can actually see us while, well, like, the corona of Mars escaping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I know, I know, but um, wouldn't it be? <laughs> what other picture do we have? M57. Was M57? Uh, I, don't know. Ring, ring, ring. I wonder if that's the ones that we were trying to save the days ago. You took one in, in each filter? I, I don't think we knew what we were doing. Uh, uh, let's see. From the date 
No, that's not us. That's 2019. This, this is a very good picture. No, that is a. That looks like you know, like a website picture. Yeah, like, yeah. If SBO it, should post that on Instagram. Oh that. my God, that should be posted on Instagram. <laughs> that is a beautiful picture. That is a very good picture. For everyone that's tuning in now, take a screenshot right yeah. now. Yeah. Do it and and save it as like. And a say gallery. that we took it today, which we did. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah. What? I didn't even notice that thing was on until now. Uh, well, actually, I want we to... have a window right now. I'm not crazy. What? Like, like over there. There's nothing there. Um, no, like, I, like you I... can see by the naked eye, but it cleared up a little bit. You cleared up a little bit, yeah. You want to just point there and see where we get? Okay, I so... mean, I just... just but first, like I want to save this picture. <laughs> no, 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 of course. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, and export, I think. DS9 doing things. Export. It's probably going to be. Alright, get you. Um, desktop? Or Wonder? Desktop, desktop. Oh, no. What? I don't know. Is that we don't have? Maybe we don't have permission to, to write write. things. Oh no, here you go. Okay. Hundred. Oh no, yeah, I think it, it, it's it's totally that. Uh, Save image. Maybe uh, that's it. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm 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 gonna post this on Instagram. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you should. Even if it it wasn't today. Or... It doesn't matter. But I mean, it's still your picture. It's made it so the Bowl and Nebula became my favorite Nebula. But then there was this one time. Oh, it's a scenario. Turn me up. What? The region that I. I see. And then he shares it somehow. I, I print. See if. Print? Maybe. Print to PDF. Maybe you can save it as a PDF. I think it's just not gonna let me save things. I I, I imagine. You know, uh, so, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's. No, I mean, it's still a fit file. <gasps> wow, DS9 has this great movie. This is how you do it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is how you create movies. Better than just going to give creator that. <laughs> Come on, use FMPEG. That's the way to do it. Uh. How can I? I wonder if, if there's like a folder that we could save to. The Google Cause... Drive, right? Exactly, because this is already saved there. So. Yeah. Wonder. If... Let's see, PNG. Yeah. Public? Wait, let you save it there. Um, so. Saved games? Good. Or I enabled a PNG. Somebody did this, so let's see. Okay. Seems like it's working. Okay. Okay, I think uh, enough. Uh, let me see if I can get it and then I'll send it to myself. Yeah, but this users, users, uh, public, you said no, no users. users, yeah. Oh, there it is. What? What happened with the rest of the image? Well, that's not this is the right name with that. It's decent, I think. Ah, geez, what, what did it do? <laughs> so now you're just watching us. I'm sorry, I'm struggle with. I think um, try the, the export now. I think because I think that'll SBO users. Yeah, you're in the right place. Oh, that's it. Oh, here is. Oh, yeah. Hey! A beautiful picture. So anybody that wants this picture, 
We got to take a screenshot. <laughs> take a screenshot or follow Daniel follow on Instagram. Me. <laughs> Don't follow Daniel on Instagram. Um, That's okay, I, I, I'll share it to myself later. Oh, you were the sharing later. Let's go then. Yeah, you're right. Okay, there's there's a window, so we're gonna try to look at things now. Um, I've been imagining. Windows. Can you look? Can you look? Well, let me let me. Make, I, can, I can actually move the telescope manually. Yeah, let, uh, hey, let me let me help you a little at first, and then. Uh, So we are looking for a, for a window where we can see something tonight. What type of telescope do we use for the scene? Yeah, Lina. Um, we use a, so it's 18 inch. Uh, it is a, something like Cassegrain. It's not really Cassegrain. Um, but it is, it is a telescope where the, the effective focal length of the telescope is much bigger than what the telescopes look like. Maybe we can. Uh, See Marcel over here. See if that's on the shot. No. Do you have the rest rest light actually? What? I don't know. I was I was seeing it's gonna be hard to <laughs> if they can see the telescope. Wait, maybe you can, I'm pretty sure you can. Maybe use both of them. Or I can help you out with this one. This one sucks. The red one. But I mean, I'm closer, so. Okay. I can try to. You use the lighting, and I will try to focus. Uh, I think the cat, the phone is kind of little weird, yeah. So that's the telescope. Plane wave instruments. But I remember, like, the type of telescope, but I don't remember exactly uh, the name. It's a modified something something. But if you look at, actually, I can look that up right now. In this channel, the the previous, um, not the la, not the previous one, the one before that stream had uh, that that your question was asking. So let me look. So I'm thinking if we're gonna see anything, it's gonna be there. Around there. Let's see if there's something close by. So uh, not this one and not also not this one. Not this one. This one? And if not, they can blame those serious clouds over there. I'll tell you right now, Alina. Because I remember I oh, guess. Okay, corrected Dahl Cricon design. This is the design of the telescope, which is something like a Cassegrain. So a Cassegrain has the the light bounces into a mirror that is close to you, and then it goes back out, but then it bounces into another mirror that corrects the curvature given to the light by the primary mirror, and then go back goes back in. Um, that's the idea of the telescope. Let's we can look it up. Mm 
So this is, so it comes in, it bounces, bounces again, okay. Uh, and this is kind of weird because you're not seeing it, but it, it, it comes in from here. It bounces here, bounces here, and then it goes into the detector. Oh, here's a, a very simple scheme. So yeah. you're you're here, here's the IP. So that it comes, bounces and bounces again. That's the, that's the sign. And then the length, uh, the, the, the focal length of, of the telescope is actually much longer than the telescope itself. So it's not, it doesn't have the restrictions that maybe a refractor telescope has, that it has to be normally very large to have mm -hmm. uh, good, good resolution. Um, well, now that I'm here, I mean, I, I can see the chat, so. Okay. Um, so it's just for the record. Yep. Okay, so we take a picture. Are you gonna take a picture of, of what we're pointing at? Yeah, whatever whatever you pointed at. What did you point at? At, at just a blank space. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, 30, uh, 30 seconds of blank space on random filter, on H alpha, no, on infrared, infrared with all the clouds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, ultraviolet, I think, <laughs> is yeah. the best one, because that'll pick up the last yeah. piece of atmospheric. Um, and then, take four. I mean, does it not show you where, where it is, like where the yeah, telescope yeah, yeah, is? Okay. Um, mm. where is it pointing? Yes. Okay, I see. Okay, so we're pointing at just some dark patch in the sky that is still cloudy, but it's less cloudy than it used to. And maybe we can see something. Because if not, like if there's something that's brighter, like nearby, we might be able to catch it. I think like to the left of there. Scott? Yeah. Whatever it is. Or... To the right, we're um, Danep and... Danep? Yeah. Danep, but this is not Danep. This is Danep. Al... Algeri. Yeah. Or Castra. Nope. Not a lot of nothing. This is very weird. Wait, this is not normal. So don't mix it up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to set up. There's no items. Yeah. Okay, that's all or nothing. Yep. So this is a cloud. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to point? Either. I, I would. I would try to. Oh, actually, M thirteen is M thirty. Sorry. Or they, I mean, the Helix Nebula is probably not going to be visible. Whatever. They're very close, so. Supposedly taking a picture of the Helix Nebula. I don't think it's gonna be visible. You probably need a very, very nice viewing condition to actually catch that one. Um, geez, someone's really hitting it. I bet you it doesn't have two up, two, three. So it's 18 inch from the aperture. 
and then the focal length I don't know, uh, I don't know. Oh, 20 inch, sorry, 20 inch. 20 inch for the art photo. Yeah, maybe it's there. I'm, I will get the manual to see if the focal length is here. Okay. Da, da, da. No. Oh, this is new. Yeah, that's the yeah. automation. So. <laughs> Did it take a picture? Oh, sorry, we shouldn't be putting the screen here. Mm. What is it? Is the picture done at all? Did I even take a picture? No, what else were you doing? I don't know. I thought I was. <laughs> the focal length. Is it not online? For this? For yeah. plane weight 20 inch, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. There are not that many telescopes like this one. Plane yeah. weight 20 inch. Telescope. Look, mm, okay, that, yeah. oh, yeah, it has that information. Oh, well, you should definitely check out this web page, man. So there you go. Look, look, look go, go here. I'm gonna create the quickly move it up. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, we could help. <laughs> okay, the picture is done. <laughs> you see that amazing cloud droplets. Okay, well, I did take the picture. I was just curious. I yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see stars in this, the background. Can you? You mean the dead pixels? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can imagine those are stars. <laughs> There's no clouds over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 over yeah here. sure. Um, I think we, I give up on taking a picture tonight. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna like, now just like move around randomly. Cause and take pictures? Oh, of course. To I see mean, if you can get something. I mean, uh, who knows, you, you may discover something. Of course. We might discover the effect of of why that looks that way. Uh, you know, the, how much you want to put a minute? Oh, gee, no. I was gonna actually lower it because <laughs> I'm not expecting to get anything. So I'm just gonna lower this to 20 actually. And just move it around. And, uh, what is it? Filter wheel. Let's go to green. I didn't even slow it. <laughs> it looks it looks better. Uh, I mean, we don't have that like crazy effect. Yeah. I think, I, yeah, I imagine that that had to do with probably like um, the cloud coverage is like with that exposure just destroys it. Um, but still, like we we can't see anything here. These are the <laughs> well, still, the, the, the droplets are still there. Uh, it's actually still there. Uh, maybe fifteen. I can imagine people trying to see things uh, through the clouds. It's not a new, it's not a new practice. 
<laughs> well, oh look at that! Yeah. Just, just fantastic. <laughs> okay, one more, and it's like we have like five minutes. That's the other one. Slow over there. Let us really capture the clouds now. Oh, uh, 15 seconds? Yeah, 15 seconds, but I'm, I'm an infrared, so. <laughs> <laughs> what are all these Danib Kaitos? Danib? Yes. Yes, this beautiful noise. I don't know. What about Deneb? Go for it. With an H instead of Deneb Kratos. I remember the Latin Kratos was, there's a game called Latin Kratos. It's an RPG. Um, Slew. Where are we looking at? We're looking through the imaginary window that must have found. Yes, I can still see it. I mean, it's it's like the window. What I mean is, it's probably like thinner clouds. There's still clouds. Thinner, higher clouds. Yes. Yeah, it was serious, serious traffic. So actually, that, that's a that's a good way to finish. Then I let's go back to our cool weather. Oh, look at that! Surprise! Well, maybe like, you know, if we wait a little bit, we might be. Cool. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna wait for a little bit more. First folder. Yeah. Mm. So this has been moving towards us. Let's see. Mm. The thing is that it touches the, the flat irons and. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not too confident of that really happening. So <laughs> now that I look at it, um, Three. Is it not six? Seven. We're both whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, guys. I, I don't know. I, I give up. I don't think we will be able to see. Anything. Yeah. I mean, just let's just look at old pictures and reminisce. Yeah. Look at this thing. Like people were just saving here for some reason. Yeah. Just. Helix nebula. Titanium helix. Helix. Okay. So we were looking at the helix nebula in the infrared, like. No. Wait a moment. Okay. Still not, still not seeing that much. You have to go to like. Mm. I guess, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh. There. I think they didn't, yeah, they, see they the didn't expose it enough. Yeah. Also, is infrared the They were playing with like, so look at all the pictures. They're playing with the filter a lot and with the binning. Um, I don't know if they got it. With this one. Mm. Mm. Zoom to fit. Scale lock and then let's go here. No. Nah. No. Nah. 
No. We can see the. You know what we can see? Stars. Uh, I want to see how much was exposure because I'm guessing it wasn't enough. Um. Uh, we're gonna display the header. And the other? No. No, there's like uh, display the the header of the fits file thing. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, there it is. No. Exposure time, a hundred seconds. No. Oh. Yeah, not not enough. Not enough. You you want to get a helix nebula? You need like five minutes. Wow. Probably the conditions weren't the best because 100 seconds, maybe you can get something like this is particularly bad. Um, dumbbell? All three of the dumbbell. That should be pretty if they catch it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to uh, question this astronomers. <laughs> you should. <laughs> maybe it's an intro class. Okay, there's okay, something. There, there is. Yeah. Uh, this is a very bad picture. But something. It's <laughs> not on what we saw today. Yeah, I, that's a good point. <laughs> so maybe see if Kelly's going to be better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe there's a dumbbell and. I mean, this, this it's, it's very, actually very decent. Yeah, that's that's nice. So this is Orion. You see, it's really like well, I mean, there was saturation though on the stars, but I mean, okay, uh, this is Orion, and you know, Orion has a nebula. Well, these three are stars are not on Orion. This is one of Orion's stars here. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe this is the other one, and, and this is it, the Orion's nebula. Is is a good nebula to see with the with with the telescope with the eyepiece. Mm. They really try with helix. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's where they got it. You know. Okay, let's let's see if they got it. I doubt it. Helix nebula again. Ah. Yeah, particularly well. Oh, oh, see? We got it. Yeah. yeah. Just have to be confident. <laughs> wow. Where's after, it? after. Where's the um, helix nebula? I'd say around 15 tries. They got it. <laughs> yeah. They made a three cube picture? Yeah, apparently. Maybe the Frank's closure. Mm. All right, guys. Um, sorry we couldn't show anything you tonight. Uh, the weather wasn't good, but um, I think next, next, no, next week. Uh, it's the 20th, I think. The 20th? It's, it's going to be our up. next session. They lift that up. And have a look at that. Yeah. Um, yes, November 20th at 8 p.m. That's our next event. All right, I'm not going to put it because we don't have computer and beers right now. Like yeah. All right. See you the 20th. Thank you very much for streaming Bye. with us. Bye. Bye.